Hello there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out the UK, and I know I must, you must find me confusing because I talk about everything under the sun. And what am I going to talk about today? Oh, if you want to like, subscribe, share, please do, if you like the vibe, if it resonates with you. But today, I wanted to talk about how, um, how we mustn't be afraid to learn new things, and I want to tell you about my experience at work today. And so I had the head of service, who's top, top, top person now. Apparently, the person who had um, designed a, a spreadsheet, an Excel spreadsheet, had emergency leave. So my boss says to this head of service, oh, I'm sure Mona can help you out. So I didn't know what it was. I thought it was just inputting some data into this spreadsheet. So when she came over to me, she goes, oh, man, so-and-so is coming down. Um, do you think you can help her out? I told her it would be all right. So I'm like, yeah, OK, then. She said, oh, she'll just help with a report. So I thought, OK, I can't do anything complicated. But, yeah, I'll give it a go. Anyway, 8.30 this morning, the woman comes in sitting next to me you know so it's not even like I can kind of bluff my way around it so she said this is the report and it's like an excel document oh she, no what had happened is she'd sent me the report the day before so I printed it off and it was one of these reports that had pages and pages and pages and the top line was going all the way down the bottom until it went on to about five pages and my instinct was that is really difficult for somebody to look at so I sent her back a quick text yesterday, not a quick text, a quick email, and said, it's horizontal at the moment. Do you think it'd be better to do it vertical? Because it's easier on the eye. So she goes, oh, no problem. That'd be fine. Anyway, I didn't touch the, the document she gave me, thank God. But I created another, um, another tab and I created another sheet. And I transfer well i just copied all the t all the titles that were going horizontally and i put them underneath each other so at least when you're looking at it you just look straight down in one page so anyway she comes to me this morning and she says oh yeah i much prefer it going down this way so she said um but i'm gonna need the drop um you know um where are the drop downs <laughs> i'm like what <laughs> drop downs i didn't see no drop downs just like oh shucks so anyway apparently this wizard who had got who's now gone off on emergency leave she's an expert on excel she had created all of these drop downs and a, 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 you know a, i don't know a pull up table or whatever associated with the page and everything Thank God I hadn't deleted that page. Anyway, she's sitting next to me and she's saying, I need the drop downs and I also need this. And I'm saying to her, well, to be honest, I, I really only have basic knowledge of Excel. So anyway, clicking on this bloody document, can't see no drop downs. And I'm thinking, what have I done? Have I, in my cutting and pasting, did I do something wrong? Anyway, because of the way I am, I, I, I'm very, very persistent. So my cursor happened to go to the line below and I saw the drop down and I said, ah, the drop downs are still there. So once the drop downs were still there, that was fine. So she said to me, well, what I need you to do, I need to insert columns um, that have got, you know, date of birth and blah, blah, blah. And the drop downs need to and they need to have drop downs. So what did I do? using my little brain i just fortunately the the drop downs that she needed had already been um embedded in some columns so i just copied the column put it in another one changed the title so that was fine but it had to be the long way it couldn't be the vertical way which was easier on the eye but she said if that's the way it's got to be that's the way it's got to be but my point was is that I managed through persistency and just kind of experimenting and moving the tab around and looking at all the different types of um, instructions at the top. Well, not instructions, you know, all those little tabs and things. You know, and instead of giving up, because my first reaction was, oh, God, I felt really embarrassed to have her sitting next to me and I don't know what I'm doing. Should somebody at my level be an expert at Excel? Then I said, no. Not necessarily, because the person who designed this um, 
this spreadsheet is a level higher than me. So she's going to have more expertise. So that was good. I didn't have to chastise myself about that. I didn't have to feel embarrassed that I didn't know how to do it because I told them before that I wasn't skilled with, um, I only knew basic um, Excel. Anyway, the long and short of the story is, is that as I was um, inserting the columns that she'd asked me to, cutting and pasting the, the, the proper drop downs, the ones that were um, compatible to the, to the um, title that she wanted, I finished what she wanted and I said, OK, it's a pity we couldn't get it vertical. But I said, at least you've got all the information on the document. She goes, yeah, I'm happy for that. You know, she said, thank you very much. And she trotted off. Anyway, she said, I need it on Norfolk. I need it on Cambridge. I need it on Peterborough. And I need it in, in Bedfordshire. So I thought, OK, then um, all I've got to do is cut and paste, not cut and paste, copy and paste these documents into the different tabs. So I'm going through the different tabs. I clicked on the first, well, yeah, I clicked on the first one, which I think was Norfolk, and I pay and I went to paste it, and it gave you some options. You know, I think it was one to paste, and there was one that said transpose. And I thought, hmm, what does that do? I've never seen that before. Anyway, click on transpose, and guess what happened? The whole other thing went vertical. So I learned something new. I actually ended up giving her the document exactly how she wanted it. Maintained all the film, all the fields, all the drop downs were there. I was so chuffed and pleased with myself. So what is my message really? My message is that sometimes we don't know how to do anything. It doesn't mean that we have to give up. It means that we can experiment. I mean, you have to feel a bit confident to experiment and providing you're not um, using the original, always keep a copy of the document you're working on and you can play around with it a little bit and see what works. You can always undo in a lot of cases and um, see what you can do. And I mean, she felt more pleased with me and I got more accolades because I was able to master what I didn't know. And just by being creative and have an inquiring mind, I was able to produce exactly what she wanted. Now, if I hadn't thought, hmm, what's that transpose? Oh, I'm not going to touch that. It might go wrong. Instead of thinking, what's that transpose? Okay, I can click on transpose and then I can undo it if necessary. You see what I mean? You have to be willing to take risks. And it was a real rewarded risk. I mean, she was happy. I was pleased as punch. And yeah, that was my day. So, that's all for now. Oh, and the expert, well, she can come back and all the report is done. All right then, bye-bye.